Good morning, Edgewood. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Edgewood. Welcome to EMTV, and today is November 22nd, 2024. It is also National Cranberry Relish Day, which is a cranberry sauce, but it is uncooked. That's interesting. Uh, today for lunch, we have stuffed crust pizza, broccoli bites, uh, celery and dip, cherry tomatoes, fruit juice, and emoji crackers. Yeah, I did. The 2025 yearbook is now on sale. Order online at yearbookforever.com or get an order from the office or library to get your yearbook today. There's a special Cyber Monday deal on Monday, December 2nd. Using code CYBERSALE25 will save you money on your online orders. Next week, we only have school on Monday and Tuesday. And once we get back from break, we will have our first ever Winter Festival on December 5th from 4 to 7. We'll have food, drinks, crafts, photo booths, and more. Winter sports are finally here. Here's Braden Hall with our weekly sports update. Thanks guys. We will start this week's show with girls bowling. On Monday, the girls had a match at home against Bedford and they won 1,659 to 1,075. Maddie Crooks and Bethany Stokes led the way with a total of 303 and a total of 259. The Bulls bowling team also had a match at home on Monday against Bedford and St. John with a close win. 1,956 to 1,954, and another win, 1,956 to 1,853. Nathan Cameron, Jackson Heffler, and Brock Fultz led the team with totals of 336, 332, and 313. On Wednesday, the Bulls bowling team faced off against Mayfield and won 2,082 to 1,784. Jackson Heffler, Brock Fultz, and Thomas Jeffers led the team with totals of 377, 315, and 299. This was also the first time they bowled over 2,000 as a team. On Thursday, the boys and girls bowling team faced off at Jefferson Lanes. The boys had a scrimmage at home against Badger on Thursday. The Lady Warriors basketball JV and varsity will travel out to West Geauga High School to face off against Notre Dame Cathedral Latin and Wolverine. Tip-off classic JV starts at 6 and varsity at 7.30. That's all for sports this week. Back to you. Speaking of winter sports, our Chicks Dig Us male volleyball tournament is no longer accepting signups. Regardless, here's the practice and game schedule for when we come back from break. End of course exam retakes are going to be the week of December 3rd through the 6th. If you need to retake an exam, you should have already received a letter in the mail. Now we have a special treat for you. Here is the first episode of a segment by your very own Brock Foltz featuring Jason Richmond and Sam Aguinaldo. Here is EMTV Cruise. What's up, Edgewood? Back with another banger. Today, we're doing Edgewood Cribs. Let's go. Today, we are doing Miss Lamont's room. Hi, Miss Lamont. Hi, Miss Lamont. Miss Lamont. What's up, chat? It's Miss Lamont. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Got a coffee pot. Bam. Loads of dishes. Bam. You know that I'm a cooking teacher. Rotting pumpkin to show the cervix dilation. You know it. Back here, we've got a cluttered corner with a washer and a dryer. You always got something going on in here. Mm -hmm. Turn around, and you'll see there's five different kitchens, a bunch of different lamps, cringy decor. What else do you want to see? His name. Oh my god. Jeremiah. Look how he's holding it. Jeremiah Pope. Project LeBron. Got a little side track, so I'm gonna finish the tour. Back here, we got a nice little fridge. There's another one up there, but this one's mostly for uh, projects. All right. We got an oven, a stove. Beautiful, beautiful countertops and uh, cabinets right here. Filled drawers. Cord in the sink. Beautiful. Just like the toaster. All right. Work in sink. I'll spray you. No, I won't. Little microwave right here. Get a good, get a good view of inside that microwave. Come on. Spotless. Beautiful. We got Beautiful. People laying down on the floor. It's a hot microwave right there. Beautiful. Pens. On and on and on. 
anything you want. When you're a student, you got deodorant. <laughs> Limb rollers. <laughs> um, no. Chargers, you forgot to charge your phone? On and on and on. What you can't have is what you can in Miss Lamont's room. <laughs> Next is Miss Simpson. Let's go. Oh, hey. 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 So, this is Miss Simpson's room, right? Yeah. yeah. This is I don't where. I a button, I shouldn't. All her supplies are. Oh, if we uh, happen to come this way, we got some nice chairs. A very clean sink. <laughs> yeah, get a bit of good. No, a very clean environment for students to learn. We like to teach safety first in this classroom. Look at the glasses. Look at the glasses. Yep, there it is. Look at the glasses. Beautiful. Look at this. Looky, looky over here. Is this a little fish tank? You know, no fish. But Donald, turtles coming soon. Fire. You know, track trophies on the wall. He just came back. Oh, yeah. Track trophies. Oh, yeah, track trophies. Can't forget those. It's the most important thing. But this is Miss Simpson's very own book. She is selling copies hey, today my bet. on hey, Amazon. Y'all don't know, Go check it out, check it out. In. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you know when EMTV drops every week. See you in the next one. The 73rd Miss Universe competition. November 14th and 16th at in Ciudad de Mexico. On Saturday, November 16th last week, the 73rd Miss Universe pageant announced Miss Denmark as Miss Universe. She spent her 21st birthday with fellow delegates. Last year's winner, Miss Nicaragua, was also her country's first Miss Universe winner. Becoming Miss Universe has given her a lot of power and influence. Citizens waved the white and blue flag celebrating her win. Four citizens were arrested for this. The director of Miss Nicaragua has been accused of financing terrorism and is banished from returning to the country. Miss Universe is more than a swimsuit competition. They have become more inclusive, including trans women, married, and race entering age 55. The candidates go through strict training weeks at Miss Universe for the crown. Miss Cambodia made a school, tuition free, teaching English. Miss Puerto Rico studies quantum physics. Miss Bolivia can speak five languages and house Ukrainian refugees. Many of the delegates are smart, empowering women with careers as lawyers, doctors, teachers, veterans, and more. Did you know the delegate from Russia was 18 years old, but did not pass the round from 12 delegates to 5? Fun fact, the United States has the most Miss Universe crowns, with 9. Venezuela is close with 7. Puerto Rico holds 5 titles, and the Philippines shines with 4 victories. Who knows, maybe someday someone from around here could compete for the crown. That's going to be all for this week's news. Thanks for watching. Stay informed, Edgewood.